everyone, this is Krill Sentry once again, here with Champions Online. <sighs> so, I was just noticing this little exclamation mark. So back in the tutorial, they used to have this little thing where you'd rescue someone's cat, and that was Martha Reese's cat. This no longer has a reference to that because of that being removed, but, oh well. Hello there, youngster, I can't find my sweet kitty cat, Reggie. And could you help me find my sweet missing cat, Reggie? He's black and white and, and cute little... With a cute little white spot on his nose and, and really soft fur. Alright, so you can ask her if she has other cats. Um, but the thing that's interesting about it is that I'm not certain, but I think that's supposed to contradict what the original person has said. Or, excuse me, the original contact, whatever. So this doesn't quite add up, but I'm not saying it right. Anyways, my brain doesn't want to work, so let's just go ahead. I'm supposed to follow her and help her get to her cat. Doesn't quite make sense. The original mission is what I was trying to say. Just move. <laughs> Sorry. She's kind of getting on my nerves already. It's a very short mission. Kind of a strange one. There's actually a story behind this. Um, there's actually a... Uh, back in... Uh, what was it? In uh, beta and whatnot. Some people were putting out as an idea. It'd be nice to have some stories of just a general good guy go out and help people. Rescue someone's cat was a specific mention. You know, just sort of as a side thing. And what do you know? They actually put it in. So that's where uh, the original mission came from. That I guess they, I don't remember if they edited this in at the same time, roughly, or what, but. In any case, oh, mind control device is something you have to collect for one of these missions. Um, yeah, PSI of Relief. Or Psi of Relief. See, I'm not sure. I think both pronunciations are correct in their own way, but whatever. You've been ambushed. You heroes are just too easy to trick. Blah, 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 blah. Well, it's a mission. I accepted the mission even though it looked really, you know, iffy. Sketchy something. Not sure how to wear it. Anyways, yeah, I was trying not to give away that this was, of course, a very much fake thing here. But, unfortunately, with my brain not working today, I can't even say what I'm trying to say. I was actually trying to say mission, but it didn't come out that way. Because my brain doesn't want to work lately. Probably because I'm not getting enough sleep. Oh well. What? How? Ah. Uh, again? Yep. Once again. Once again, these twits are picking a fight with everything under the sun. Can we just finish these guys off already? Alright. I was trying to head on over to a little spot over here, I think, roughly, where I saw, ah, yes, Reckless Roger Piker should be right around here, just by memory here. Um, I've played this game enough times for some of these missions I have memorized. This guy's a little bit memorable. I suppose I can go ahead and grab the crafting stuff, even though I'll never get it up in time. Golden rule. He who makes the rules, ma gold makes the rules. It's not actually the golden rule, but okay. Well, let's see if what he says is you. You look like your face fell in the cheese dip back in 1957. I'm not sure what he's trying to say with that. Is he just trying to say we're ugly? I kind of assumed that. But he doesn't seem... I don't know. He doesn't seem all that bright. And he's actually wearing holographic glasses that may be distorting his vision, because he, you know... Anyways... <coughs> holographic disruption glasses, anyways. But the way he paused is kind of indicates to me either that he was actually shocked, and probably just couldn't see straight, or he had some sort of, uh... <coughs> excuse me, like he was trying to stop and think so he could come up with an insult, which kind of takes away the strength of the insult at that point anyways. Not that it matters, but anyways. So here's another mission. Uh, this is the Glass Menagerie. Let's go ahead and keep blasting these guys. 
I'm just kind of clearing these missions out. They're all clumped up here together. Um, but basically, we're doing dealing with these holographic glasses right now. So we had that one little mission, basically, the, you know, the mind control people trying to cause some trouble. I don't think it's the part I needed, actually. Yeah, I think I just need the boxes in this area not to fight these guys, so... Whoops. Let's get used to whenever you see someone rescue them type thing. And if they give you a mission, I'm not accepting it. Just saying. <laughs> whenever you rescue someone, there's a chance that they'll give you a special little mission you can do on the side. It's just that those things are repetitive and boring. And very rarely have much to them, unfortunately. And also, some of them are broken. Um, not sure if they ever fixed them all. In fact, I'm pretty certain they didn't fix all of them. But, they did fix a few. Why am I suddenly getting a massive lag spike? Really, game? Really? Okay. This is really weird. I mean, there's nothing going on to explain this. Well, I'd rather not have this get any worse. What I think I need to do right now... Oh, I know something I can do just to be on the safe side here. For one, all right. So sorry, you guys are getting such a horrible picture right now. I'm sure. I'm trying to finish this guy off first, but definitely something's not working right because it just came out of nowhere here. I'm going to actually jump over to another city center because it looks like they may have stuck me in the most populated one, which may not actually be able to run very well. That said, there's nothing running in the background, say for, you know, Fraps, which is my current recording program. You see? No lag. What's that about? Yeah, something's going on, and I don't know why I was doing that. I was actually watching one of the recordings from earlier, as I always try to watch them these days to see if there's anything that shows up in there that's a problem. And, like, twice I passed on one of those open missions, because it just kind of was on there for like half a sec th second, and when I'm trying to focus on moving my character around, I'm always going to notice that stuff. Oh well. Anyways, just getting back to opening these boxes here. Huh. Alright, well. This part's not exactly the most riveting and interesting to me. It's, there's worse out there, of course, but I mean, this is pretty much your standard kind of objective. Go collect X number of Y. Yeah, not really much to it. Unfortunately, that is the most common type of mission you'll see in MMORPGs, and hey, to be perfectly honest, that is an improvement over the early MMORPGs. You know, it's a lot of people talk about the games being the World of Warcraft clones, when in reality it's just an EverQuest clone, but at least World of Warcraft had a plot, something, even a tiny bit. EverQuest didn't have that much. You could run around, fight monsters, there were a couple of quests, but I mean, you probably could count the quests that you would have completed on one hand. It's just, you know, as far as what any one character goes. Most of it was not actually questing, but rather was going around and just fighting monsters over and over, trying to get stronger. Get stronger, get better gear, and all for what? Well, anyways. Alright, so these counter agents, I should point out, do have for that little attack where they're shooting like a taser. That will instantly bottom out your endurance bar. It's very annoying, especially if you're doing charge-ups. Because if you don't get it off before they fire, then, well, you just basically lose the attack altogether. You know, maintains, you would have done some damage. Click attacks, you're going to do some damage. But when you're doing some sort of uh, charge attack, then, yeah, you just lose the whole thing. Another little note is that it's good to try to experiment with charges to see if you actually need a full charge. You can save on both charge time and ex the uh, endurance cost by not using a full charge. But you may need to, t you know, experiment around a little bit and see how that actually works. 
That said, you just never know. Got that big thing going. Come on. Huh. Looks like he started regenerating. Anyways, there's just a lot of stuff like that that you can work out over time. Kind of fine-tune things. Oh, they were actually in the air. They got knocked back, but apparently ended up flying. Hmm. More stolen parts, and is this... Yeah, I think it's the last one. Sweet! Alright, that's quite a bit, so I'm gonna go turn that in real quick. And, yeah, I've got another one for Corporal Antoine Harrison. But, anyways... Uh, let's turn these into the Mate Sanchez first, our local Silver Avenger. I guess there's multiple from the sounds of it. Thanks, Aragos. This That sounded like a pretty tough fight. I'm glad you got those glasses, though. You're going to need it if you're going to root out the Gudrun living among us in Millennium City. I didn't think he was that tough to beat, actually. Terrific work, Saragos. Admit it. Tangling with those Argent thugs really is the ultimate adrenaline rush, isn't it? No. <laughs> Silent running. I'm hearing a lot of buzz about Psy and a connection to Mind Inc. I've got my best agent, Peter uh, St. Croix, uh, looking into it. Again, I'm hoping I'm not butchering that. But I know he could use some assistance. Care to lend a hand? You can find him one block east of City Hall. This is another contact. I choose you, Gudrun. Now that the glasses you can expose... Now that you have the glasses, you can expose the disguised... First the brain, then the tongue. Is nothing gonna work today? You can expose disguised Gudrun. Sheesh. <sighs> the glasses will send out a pulse that disrupts the holographic technology they use to disguise themselves. But the Gudrun will not be happy when you've discovered their holographic technology has an Achilles heel, so be ready for a fight. The disguised citizens are roaming around the courtyard, courtyards of the two blocks north of City Hall. Alright. I should be honest, though. Actually... One of the problems I have, I've got s pretty severe conditions, including ADD is actually really bad in my case. I actually can't sit down and read a book anymore. I just literally can't even read it. it my brain just stops registering it. It's maybe a similar condition why I have trouble reading these. Oh well. You know, I just remembered. Martha Reese is visiting her niece in Hudson City. Somebody must have been using holographic technology to pierce Martha Reese. That means they must have set a trap, been setting a trap for you. Gosh, it seems really strange that I could forget that Martha went on vacation. She called me more than a dozen times to ask me to keep an eye on her place. Hmm. This really is most peculiar. Could my forgetfulness have anything to do with these intense headaches I've been having? Well, we already had it revealed that he was, in fact, affected by my ink, so, yeah. But, anyways. Let's go ahead swap over a bit so that we don't uh, go for the higher level ones first, rather the lower level ones. Still got a little bit going here. Um, let's see. Gonna swing over here. Alright, so around here roughly. Oh, another crafting thing apparently. Didn't expect that. Uh, there's uh, this guy right here. Before I miss him, it's the guy you need to talk to for the truth and nothing but. Oh, hello, Zaragos. You startled me. I'm City Administrator Bell's assistant, but she is indisposed, so she sent me to answer your questions. What can I do for you? Maybe we should check one of the Socrates machines? I was kind of out of nowhere. Truth and nothing but. What can I help you with, Zaragos? I hope you're not here to sp not looking to speak with Madeline Bell. The city administrator is in in indisposed until further notice. However, as her assistant, I would be more than help willing to answer any questions you may have or you have concerning Brianna Bissell. I assume that's why you're here. Well, I've only met the mayor's daughter once or twice, and I thought she seemed like a nice young lady. However, according to Madeline Bell, Brianna Bissell was a bit troubled. Miss Bell said Brianna got mixed up with the wrong crowd. Now, I'm not quite sure what exactly that means, but I imagine that may help you in your investigations, Argos. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, since they already spilled the beans of Madeline Bell is Medusa, clearly that's not accurate. <laughs> Alright. And what does Socrates have for us today? Why are they putting this? Alright, so this 
These three all send us over to contact, so we'll just ignore her for now since she has nothing to actually do. Alright. And... Here? Oh, no, no. Not yet. I gotta remember that. That's uh, one of the other ones. Alright, so what do we have? Okay, after return to Kinetic. Um, Sigh of Relief we're actually gonna get over time, but not right now. So, I guess that leaves us with just turning in this one, Silent Running, which will just give us a new contact. Might as well. He's, uh, apparently been pushed up on the bench today. <laughs> so now he's floating slightly, I think. Yep. Alright. Mind Inc. claims they're a self-help group, but I know they are just a front for psych the psychic villain organization, Psy, and I will not rest until both are shut down. Great to see you, Zorago's side does not stand a chance now that you're on the job. Let's see. Be careful what you think around Psy. You don't want them to find out your secrets. <laughs> Size matters. <laughs> Have you seen those strange pieces of machinery placed around a perimeter of the Mind Inc. headquarters? Those two hookies are called Hippocamptic Synobulators, <laughs> a.k.a. Technobabble. <laughs> And they emit a transmission to slow synaptic responses of people within its broadcast radius, making people docile and susceptible to recruitment into Mind Inc. We need to knock those machines out of commission for the safety of Millennium City. So you gotta collect uh, five of them. Well, really, they should have had you destroy them, I would think, but yeah. You can act about, you ask about Mind Inc. and who is Simon, etc., but. Anyways, you'll meet Simon soon enough. Alright, so, zipping on through here. Uh, certainly plenty to do. Here we go. Alright, so we'll start here. These guys are low enough level anyways. So, this is basically a little mission here where you just got to uh, collect these little glowing things. So it's not really all that big a deal. Um, which, again, I would think you would actually destroy them, not collect them, if they need to be stopped. But, yeah, there's just some oddball things about it. Doesn't matter that much, I suppose. Go ahead and keep draining health from these guys. Oh, it feels like forever since I've leveled. Sometimes it just feels that way. I'm sure it's not that long. It just feels that way. Alright. Mostly because um, the time it takes to actually get these videos set up is pretty long. It's not the recording time, of course. You can see how long the video is. It's the fact that even afterwards you have a problem. All right, this is annoying. So you see little hearts above the guy's your guy's head, and this guy goes invisible, as if you're to ignore him because I guess you're charmed or something. Yeah, that's kind of creepy with this guy, but. These, they also have a, uh, like this female robot thing that they will, it will just blow you a kiss and automatically you're unable to even fight it because you're somehow charmed. I mean, that's just dumb, but, uh, it's one of those things where the game goes from taking a serious tone to definitely more of a comedic tone, and if it was a game that was meant to be more comedic, it would actually make a lot more sense. Instead, it ends up just being very out of place. I, I guess it just is what it is, you know? Again, it's not all bad. These guys have some interesting setups and outfits and whatnot, so there's something. I actually kind of like fighting Mind Inc. for the most part, except I do get a little annoyed that one guy who can just flat out make himself invincible uh, by basically going visible. By the way, if you have a higher intelligence stat, like you chose that for one of your super stats, when you get close enough you can often actually see through stealth and still be able to hit them as a result. So that's actually of note that could be very useful, that stealth does actually protect against people who use, well, intelligence protects against people who use stealth. I think I almost said it reverse, but my brain's not working anyways. Nothing new. <laughs> Nothing to see. Move on. <laughs> Alright. I'm kind of getting eager because we're closing in on one of my favorite parts. It's where you get to create your own personal arc villain. Our arc nemesis, basically. The nemesis system is pretty cool. That said... 
Uh, let's see. Go ahead and continue to blast these guys. Uh, let's see where. Oh, I don't need to be taking these guys down. Why don't I? I'm just like clearing the way as I go, I guess. But it'd be faster if I just charged right on over and found the next hippocamptic synopulator. <laughs> Especially considering I don't actually know a lot about... Hey, actually, this is uh, usually... Yeah, the psionic focus, I believe, also counts as magic. That's what that big glowing gem is. Psionic focus. But I believe, since we're using magic for our focus, we can actually use those. For more crafting stuff. Go ahead and get my bot sealed up a little bit by taking his health. Alright. There we go. Okay. So, that being said, I think I wandered outside of the zone where those things show up. Yeah, actually, looking at the map, I know I did. Whoops. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay. Ah! I see one. Okay. Bots are taking hits again. I gotta remember to turn those on. Sometimes I just kind of forget those things. It gets kind of like autopilot, if you will. But yeah. We're coming up on some interesting missions. Some of them can be a little frustrating, though. So, yeah. Now that I've done it enough times, it won't be nearly as bad. So that's the good news. Oh, uh, this weird-looking building, with all of its pink glow and everything, is actually uh, Mind Ink. Just remember... Superhero comics almost always use pink to represent psionics, and it's got a pink glow around it. Psionics is what the Mind Ink, aka Psy, is using. Should help you be able to keep that connection. At least it does for me. Maybe not for others. In any case, almost back. Huh. Didn't notice that before. Alright. You know what? I'm going to see if I can pick up the bench. Right from underneath them. Yep. Now he's not floating on the bench anymore. <laughs> Thank you for collecting those transmitters, Aragos. Do you need an aspirin? I've heard if you stand too close to those synobulators long enough, they'll give you a splitting headache. <laughs> yeah, like a certain someone was getting. Alright. Um, I think I'm going to have to... Basically, head back to Kinetic now. I think once I get to Kinetic, I'll drop down and we'll just call that a uh, a day as far as. or not a day, but a video. <laughs> as far as that goes. And then we'll move on. Don't want to take too long with this. In any case, though. Yeah, there's a yellow exclamation mark showing up on the map, and I'm going to wait till they send us there. So I know which ones that is, which missions. In any case, here we are, back with Kinetic. Let's see. Now that my other contacts have anything new to report, I think you're still the best hope we have at finding Mayor, Mayor, the Mayor's missing daughter. Okay, Diary Queen. Interesting news, Arago, that this diary of Brianna is so, is so important. I'm willing to bet she had it with her when she disappeared. The last place anyone saw her was at uh, City, Par City Center Park, where she used to spend her lunches when she wasn't visiting with Janine Jandabur. That sounds like a good place to start, don't you think? City Center Park is a few blocks east of City Hall. You're a great investigator, Saragos. I'm sure you'll turn up something. Alright, so let's go ahead and save that for the next video. Hope you're all having fun, and I'll see you next time.